While most jewelry comes from precious stones and jewels found in the earth, you've heard that pearls, all round and shiny, come from oysters, which just so happen to gracefully open their mouths and let us take the perfectly formed gem for our own use. Sounds right, right? Well, if not, why do they make pearls? As it turns out, shelled mollusks such as oysters create pearls as an immune response to foreign objects. Oysters are bivalves, which means their shell has two parts. Inside these shells is an organ called the mantle, which releases a substance called nacre made primarily of calcium carbonate. This nacre is responsible for the production of the shell. Pearls are formed when a foreign substance or parasite makes its way between the shell and the mantle. This usually happens when the oyster has opened its shell for feeding. The foreign object gets into the mollusk, which then releases nacre as a protective measure, wrapping the foreign object up many times over. This process is similar to when you get a splinter, and happens over years, eventually forming a beautiful pearl. Unfortunately for you, splinters don't make pearls. Over the years, science has taken advantage of this phenomenon by harvesting oysters and inserting foreign objects into their mantle. But these cultured pearls aren't nearly as valuable as their rare natural counterparts. One of nature's many gems. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.